Fitness Today is Wednesday, October 20th, 2010, and you're watching Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Lincoln Isom. And I'm Henry Neal. On today's show, we'll take a look at how one event helps students decide what college they should go to. Next up, we've got Jordan Mortis with sports and Cody Johnson with your local weather. back now for the question of the day question is in what city is it illegal to own a red car is it a Paris France B Denver Colorado C Shanghai China or D Buffalo New York the answer will come later in the show with over 1,000 career possibilities choosing a future can be tough I know I still don't have a clue on what college I'm going to I'm bummed <laughs> I missed career day this year. It would have helped me a lot. Here's Rachel Salamvani with the details on how choosing a career is rough sometimes. Another year of high school is again underway, which means one year closer to graduation. One event helps students explore the possibilities that are open to them after high school. Well, career day is important because it, uh, it helps you figure out where you're going and um, it gives you perspective on what, what you want to do maybe. and. Uh, and it's good for buttons and stuff, free stuff. Every year, students struggle on deciding what they want to do with their future after high school. Oh, this is a great opportunity for students here at Searcy High School to see what options they have available to them after graduation. And uh, Searcy students uh, have a long tradition of attending college and pursuing uh, degrees after high school graduation. And uh, we're so pleased to have so many of them choose Harding University each year. Career Day helped one student decide a life-changing decision. Well, I found, I found some really great colleges that I might think about attending. I like U of A because I really like the Razorbacks and uh, it's just kind of like my hometown college. For students struggling on the tough decision of choosing a college, Harding representative Glenn Dillard recommends you take a tour of the school. The best advice for students who are looking at colleges is to go visit. Campus visits are so important. Um, if a student just looks at the brochure that schools send out, uh, it's never raining and everyone's wearing pretty clothes and smiling. Uh, but going and visiting the campuses, they can see firsthand what the schools have to offer and whether they would fit in or not. As Arkansas Governor Mike Beebe once said, your own future is limitless when you prepare yourself for it. Reporting for Lion TV Jump Start, this is Rachel Salani. Thanks, Rachel. I'll be sure to not miss school next year when career day comes around again. Seniors, if you would like to order a new senior t-shirt, come by Miss Nielsen's room or contact Macy Faust or Beth, Beth Grimes. Tickets for the fall play Who's Your Mommy are currently available. Tickets may be purchased from drama students, Miss Taylor, or the East Office. Cost is $5 for students and $7 for adults. The show will be this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. and this Sunday at 2 p.m. Doors will open 30 minutes prior to every show. Next up, we have Jordan Morris with your Lions Sports. What is up, Cersei High, all you Cersei Lion fans and Cersei students and Cersei teachers? I'm Jordan Morris here to do your Cersei Lion sport announcements for Cersei. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. The third study of the Competitors' Creed will be covered. The Cersei Kiwanis Club, with the help of the SHS Key Club, will again host the Roland Razorback Classic next Tuesday here in the SHS Gym. Tickets at the door will be $5, but students, parents, and faculty may purchase advanced tickets for only $2 each. Please see Doc Watson or one of the key club officers for details and tickets. SHS played an extremely close game last Friday. Here's Henry Neal with the highlights from that game. Last Friday night, the Lions played a tough game against the Jacksonville Red Devils. The defense gave no mercy to the Devils, turning them down time after time. The defense brought the fire and injured many of the Devils' players. Once again, the Lions came out dominating on the defense again. Could someone say defense? The Jacksonville Red Devils kicked, and it is blocked by the Lions. Now it's offense time. Quarterback Desmond Stegall runs to pick up a few yards. He hands it off to Mauer here on the play, and Mauer picks up a couple of yards. 
That's what I'm talking about. Desmond Stego draws back. Shake one defender. Throws. An amazing catch by BJ Slaughter. Touchdown for the Cersei Lions. And the fans go wild as the Cersei Lions score their first touchdown in the fourth quarter. Defense shutting down the Red Devils over and over and over in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, coach gives the last pep talk trying to hype up the Lions defense. What is they going to do? 44 seconds to go. Lions winning. And Lions shut down Jacksonville for one last time. Nine seconds go. Visitor, seven. Lions winning. Home, six. Austin popping up the crowd, getting crazy. And Jacksonville gets the ball. Quarterback is back. He throws. And they complete it. Jacksonville won. Lions will be facing off against Jonesboro in the jungle this Friday. Come out and support your Lions. Sign off for Lion TV Jumpstart. This is Henry Neal. Thanks, Henry. We will be hosting Jonesboro this Friday. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Come out and support your Lions. We're going to win. That is it for sports. Now back to that news desk. Thanks, Jordan. Student Council will meet tomorrow at 740 in the library. Spanish Honorary will meet next Thursday instead of tomorrow due to parent-teacher conferences at 735 in the cafeteria. Juniors, don't forget to take orders for the butter braid bread. The deadline for selling is next Wednesday. Be sure to collect the money for the bread before you turn in the order form. Also, the Jostens rep will be here this Friday in room 307 when they come to take your senior orders. You may stop by the place to order your class ring at this time. Now here's Cody Johnson with your Cersei weather. Good morning, Cersei High School. This is your Wednesday weatherman, Cody Johnson, coming at you today, Wednesday, October 20th, 2010. Let's hop over the almanac and see what we got today. Today, we got our high of 80 with our average of 72 and our record high of 90 set in 1963. Of course, with our low of 47, our average low of 45, a regular low of 30 set way down there in 1989. Of course, you got that beautiful sun popping in, brighten up your day. Let's hop over and see what we got for the statewide view. In Arkansas, today up in Fayetteville, you will see a 52, of course, Fort Smith 56, Arkadelphia 57, Monticello 58, Little Rock 53, Jonesboro 54, and of course the wonderful best town of the world, Searcy 55, with that cloudy, a little bit of clouds peeking in through the sun, but the sun's going to come out, trust me. For the five cast, Wednesday, high of 80 with a low of 47, the beautiful sun peeking in to brighten up your day. Throughout the rest of the week, you're going to see Mid-range 80, lower 80s, and the lows way all over the place down there in 50s and 60s. Thursday and Friday, you're going to have a partly cloudy, sunny chance. And Saturday and Sunday, sorry to say, your weekend might have a chance of a downpour. Let's hop over and see what we got for lunch. For lunch, we got hot dogs with mustard, baked toastito scoops with salsa, seasoned whole kernel corn, fresh pear, and a wonderful choice of white or chocolate milk that is oh so healthy for you. That's all I've got for you today. You have a wonderful day. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Cody. Now for the answer to the question of the day. The question, in what city is it illegal to own a red car? It's C, Shanghai, China. Wow, owning a red car. What if somebody's favorite color is red? Their favorite color is red. I advise them to change their favorite color to black. Well, I believe that's it for the episode of Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Lincoln Isom. And I'm Henry Neal. Have a good day, Cersei High.